Welcome back to another exciting video from Wealth Value. Today's video is about how big is Amazon. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. Jeff Bezos's e-commerce juggernaut is a ravenous monster scooping up conventional businesses and bricks and mortar retailers by the dozen into its insatiable more. But did you know one of its subsidiaries essentially makes the internet work? Or another wants to take over your healthcare? One bit of Amazon wants to deliver booze to your house party, while another is eager to mend your toilet. Amazon's raw data is worth marveling over in itself. Last year, the company reported revenues of over $386 billion. It's valued overall at $1.4 trillion, more significant than the following nine biggest US retailers combined. Roughly $11,000 worth of goods are traded on its platform every second. And last year, the firm delivered three and a half billion packages, one for every two human beings. It's the world's second largest private employer behind only Walmart. But of course, that doesn't count some 5 million sellers who sell goods via the platform, a quarter of a million of whom each made $100,000 in sales during 2019. Amazon Prime The speedy premium delivery club now has almost 150 million subscribers, a sizable majority of all American shoppers, like an iceberg. However, much of Amazon's grandeur is in Amazon Web Services Oz. Amazon Web Services Oz provides cheap, reliable server infrastructure on behalf of prominent organizations from Netflix to Disney. BMW, to Gtinder to the CIA the world. It geek might sound like a pretty humdrum side hustle for a fast-moving business like Amazon. But these days, Oz is, in fact, the most lucrative division of the business, raking in a whopping 60% of all Amazon profits or 50 billion a year. Oz isn't just helping you watch Shit's Creek in HD. Its servers provided the essential computational horsepower which helped pharmaceutical giant Moderna develop its COVID-19 vaccine in lightning quick time fascinating as Oz. No discussion of Amazon's might would be complete without goggling at its IL footprint. Not most minor Oz's or inspiring network of transco-oceanic cables sneaking under the Atlantic Pacific and Indian Oceans and the Mediterranean Red Sea and South China Sea. 175 Gigantic Fulfillment Centers Amazon also maintains 175 gigantic fulfillment centers all around the world. With many more planned, this help runs its core. Varying drunk impulse buys to your home in a matter of days or in some cities hours more on than in a moment less well known is the fact, Amazon is moving full steam ahead into the very bricks and mortar retail space. It's done more than anybody to destroy. Amazon Go. Take Amazon to a network of roughly a dozen convenience stores dotted around Seattle, Chicago, San Francisco, New York, and London. The gimmick here is there's no cash. Scan your phone on the way in as cameras and weight sensitive shelves, check out what you bought, and seamlessly invoice your Amazon account. Amazon Fresh. A variation on this is Amazon Fresh. The cashier, less grocery chain competing with small metro supermarkets, offering Amazon's food product branded. So limo for Amazon's own branded coffee and lifelong complete for pet food. There are already three of these in London and ten situated across California. Amazon Flex. Delivery has always been central to Amazon's runaway success. If anybody knows how to get stuff from a to be, it's Amazon. You'll have seen their vans and trucks zoom around wherever you live. But did you know its drivers typically use an app called Flex, which DVS out precious shifts to hungry gig economy workers and supports a thriving secondary market and plug-in app bots that help drivers secure the best slots by constantly refreshing the landing page. Small wonder when the job pays anywhere between $18 and $25 an hour. When Amazon does use legacy state postal services, it frequently does. It's in a powerful bargaining position, so much so that USPS broke its long-standing tradition and started delivering on Sunday to help Amazon meet demand. 11 Boeing, 767 SUS carriers. But that's small fry earlier this year, and Amazon snapped up a great deal on 11 Boeing, 767S from struggling US carriers, Delta and WestJet, bringing their airborne delivery fleet up to 66 aircraft. The plan is to have 86 planes by the end of the year, and they've made no secret of their plans to take on big carriers like UPS and FedEx at their own game. Unbelievably Amazon Air is, later this year, opening a dedicated airline hub, essentially a private freight airport in Kent. This follows its already significant air hub presence in Leipzig, Germany, non-vessel operating common carrier for cargo shipments. Amazon is also making waves in the notoriously hard-to-crack sea container market. In early 2016, the company was granted a license from US Federal Maritime Commission to operate as a non-vessel operating common carrier for cargo shipments between China and the United States. Amazon Zooks this is all part of Bezos's dream of vertical integration. All aspects of sales and transportation give Amazon a profound advantage of arrivals through. Amazon will soon be ferrying humans around via a fleet of self-driving taxis. So Amazon is on the seabed, crisscrossing oceans, soaring through the skies everywhere on land and potentially up in space. Suppose it gets its Keep a Satellite Array, arrival to Elon Musk Starlink off the ground. Amazon Prime Video. There's a good chance. You've watched its streaming service, Prime Video 
which not only carries a dizzying array of legacy content but makes its excellent content. Sound of Metal just won to Oscars. They're working on a perfect televised take on Lord of the Rings, plus cutting-edge comedy like Fleabag. Amazon's music streaming service. Amazon's music streaming service is superior to Spotify in many audio. If you're a gamer, you've probably used the streaming service Amazon snapped up Twitch for 970 million in 2017. It made 300 million in ad revenue in 2019 alone. Amazon Prime Gaming. By the way, Prime Gaming offers games for sale plus free loot for popular titles, like League of Legends and Grand Theft Auto. Amazon Ring. Amazon's presence in the home starts way before that at your front door. If the company got it way back in 2018, it bought the ring, which isn't, as you might reasonably assume, intelligent wearable tech for your finger. Instead, it's a smart doorbell that allows you to check remotely, who's calling and even granting access on your smartphone. Amazon Ring. It isn't just for forgetful housemates, who's lost their key. Amazon Home Services Division. The firm is expanding its Amazon Home Services Division, which deploys an army of mobile house cleaners, and has lately started employing technicians who come over and do everything from assembling your new bed to installing a cap flap to unblocking that stubborn toilet. Thanks to Amazon Ring, you need and even be home when they're at it. And that's not the only way Amazon's been cleaning. Amazon Alexa. Alexa, the company's Ion Omniscient AI assistant, is quietly listening in and offering helpful advice from over 50 million Amazon Echo devices inspired by the friendly, humble, and valuable computer from Star Trek. It's already woven into the fabric of daily life for millions of users. Amazon's head scientist in charge of the Alexa project Rohit Parsad is working to make Alexa even smarter, capable of not only following instructions via hundreds of thousands of apps, but also known as skills, but actively anticipating what you'll need later before even you do that could be as pro as updating your order to meet a delayed flight, or as nifty as remembering you need vanilla essence to make your grand's birthday cake this weekend and subtly steering you toward the correct aisle in Whole Foods via your Echo Ear. But this is a good time for a quick look at the vast array of hardware Amazon producers in-house. Amazon Lab 126 and other services. The company's consumer electronics workshop in Sunnyvale, California, is called Lab 126, a clever nod to Amazon's logo, where it is 1 and said is 26. The Kindle was Lab 126's first hit product rolling out of the labs in 2000. Later models, they regularly offer intelligent features like color temperature analysis and the ability to sync what page you are currently on across multiple devices. There's also the Kindle Fire, a cheap arrival to the iPad, the Amazon Fire TV, or the Fire TV Stick. Amazon Echo, which incorporates seven microphones to earwig on your innermost wants and needs, has many different versions. There's the dot, the buds, and the spot. There's also the fancy bells, whistles Echo Studio Edition, or the Echo Show, which incorporates a screen and the Echo Auto in your car. Bet, you've never heard of Echo Frames. Amazon's effort to pick up where Google Glass left off or the Echo Ring, which this time is a piece of intelligent wearable tech for your finger. The less said about Lab 126's failed Fire Phone the better, Perhaps until now Amazon has bought processing chips from Intel, but following the lead of its Oz division will soon start using Graviton chipsets, which has developed into acquiring Israeli firm and A. These Graviton chips currently in their second generation with a third on the way, use the power-efficient ARM architecture in much the same way as the new generation of Apple computers. It was crazy to acquire PillPack for $753 million in 2018. Amazon has one license to operate pharmacies across much of the United States, utilizing its vast delivery network and commercial muscle. Amazon can now get drugs to customers cheaper and faster than its rival. It even interfaces neatly with our healthcare system through a slick app that asks for a user's social security number. Amazon Pharmacy Vice President TJ Parker said it was hoping to transform an industry that can be inconvenient and confusing. The company's nascent Amazon Care division seeks to bring many disparate services from general practitioners to top specialists under one umbrella accessible through a friend. Of course, critics have suggested handing over all your healthcare info to a tech giant isn't necessarily the most brilliant move. By the way, Amazon is also very much in the business of being a critic, owning both IMDB and reasonable rates. We could go on ever heard of Amazon paying the rival to PayPal, but you get the idea. How big is Amazon? To use the technical jargon is bloody enormous. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.